Okay, in this lab, what you need to do, you just need to uh, uh, plot plot the energy versus the voltage square. Okay, so uh, we need to have the data for the voltage, and the voltage is read by this voltmeter here, and you also need to uh, know the top plate charge, so we click here for the top plate charge and then the, the store the energy here is the energy stored in the capacitor now what we need to do if you look at here we have a battery on the left side if I go up here you see it shows the electric field or those black lines if I go down here you can see the electric fields again now what happened, what you need to do is you need to find the voltage and also the energy. So to measure the voltage, you need to take this voltmeter, bring it here, take this, let me first, for example, go to this, put some voltage here. I take the red lead here, put it there on the red plate. I take the black lead, put it on the negative plate, and you can see here, I read the voltage, it says 0.65 volt. So what you need to do, is you need to take measurements for each, uh, for each voltage that you put in, you need to calculate the energy stored in the capacitor. And the energy that's stored in the capacitor is here. You see at the top it says 0 0.06 pico joule. So if I change the voltage, look what's happened to the energy. You see how the energy is changing? You see that yellow bar there? You see the yellow bar is increasing. So what you need to do, you need to take the data. So you make a table. That table will have on one side, it will have the the energy and the other side it will have the voltage square so for example here is one data here i have the energy is there 0 0.04 pico joule pico it means 10 to minus 12 and the voltage here has 0.5 volt and then you need to square it and put it on the table now we pick another data here and then you keep doing that for each voltage, you have certain energy. For each voltage, you have certain energy. And then, after you make this data, make sure you take like maybe 30 or 40 data points. Then you plot, you plot energy versus V square. After you plot the energy versus V square, try to get the slope and this slope will give you the capacitance of these two plates and you need to find that capacitance and then compare it with the one that you have here you see it says there 0.3 picofarad now after you do this v this energy volt versus the voltage square you do another experiment which is we need to plot the energy versus the charge square so you keep moving again the voltage here and then you look at the energy it's here and here is the charge on the plate this is Q and now what you need to do is plot the energy the energy which is here versus Q the charge squared and then after you do that take like 40 data points plot that energy versus Q squared and look for the slope and the slope will give you the slope is not the capacitance but it will give you information about the capacitance and then after you find the capacitance, you compare it 
with the one that you have here and that's your lab so you have to do energy versus voltage square energy versus q square you get the energy from here you get the q from here you get the voltage from from here from the voltmeter here okay and that's your lab 